Without further ado, I would like to invite Dr. Gerard Br Briscoe. Is that right? Is that the right way to pronounce your name? And I'll invite you for five minutes, no more, to offer some, um, what's the title? Emerging Themes and Provocations, Gerard. Thank you. Hi, my name is Gerard, thank you. Um, I'm a researcher at the Glasgow School of Art um, at the Institute of Design Innovation. So just to, I have to you know, say where I'm from, it's part of my job. And um, I suppose my, my observations here, my interest in being here, having worked with uh, me before, is the uh, difference of the environment. And uh, you know, I know George was also struck with whether to call this a conference or not to call it a conference. And I go to a lot of academic conferences and they're very structured events. And I started looking into this and you know, what we call a conference is a meeting of experts in a formal setting to discuss a specific topic. But actually the best bit of a conference is where you go to confer and to talk to people. And if you think of it as two extremes, this place is a place to confer rather than just to just conference. And, you know, George and Jade have done away with so many of the boring bits of a conference and have defined, developed and established this approach for us to all confer. You know, and, uh, you know, stimulation and interesting elements that we can um, then share what we do with other people as well. And elements of the work that, that struck me here that were being discussed about labs also connected to things I've looked at with what are hackathons and how can they be done differently. And what struck me as the most important thing is the opportunity for sharing creative practice across different disciplines. Um, and in academia, we spend a lot of time now talking about disciplinary silos and why they're there and how to get rid of them and how to do things differently. And, but ultimately, I think what we need to look at is how we can take our creative practices and how we can share them with others, whether that's actually trying to you know, give them the model of creative practice that you use for them to use in their spaces, or whether it's working collaboratively with them. And, and so much of what I've seen here are examples of that. You know, it it's manifests examples of that. And I think that that's what we all need to strive for. And I think the, the question that, that ultimately comes to mind from what you see here as examples of that is how do we push that? Um, I was fascinated by Lynn's presentation and I asked her, you know, how did you establish this incredible, amazing space and what were all the steps? And she explained them to me and it, it was quite phenomenal, all of the stages that they had taken to do that. And I don't think we should take these spaces for granted in any way. Um, I have always struggled to find places myself where I can do this kind of interdisciplinary work where you can exchange ideas in, you know, in such a fluid, positive and constructive way. So I would leave with you the question of, you know, how do we push this further? Now we've asked the question of the title of the conference, you know, how do we move to the next step? What is, what would we say is, you know, beyond the lab? You know, what would we define as the, the critical characteristics for it? Thank you.